its mechanisms. There's the center caps. Yeah, don't lose this fucking box. Jesus Christ. precursor this. This video is actually going to be about re redoing our garage. We're going to be moving things around, trying to coordinate, trying to make things feel better. Um, I was going to fix the air compressor, the old one, or the two-stage one. Uh, just got a lot of little things to try and figure out. Um, the reason behind this and the reason why it's so difficult for me and why the old air compressor gives me PTSD, um, I'm going to try and talk about this without crying, so bear with me. My dad, on the day he passed away, was putting inner tubes in the lawn tractor. Now, mind you, we have a bigger than average lawn tractor, but I digress. We had put one in. We had one more to go, and I told him to wait for me. I was working, I was in a school. I said, I'll be home soon, wait for me. Well, my dad, enjoying the beautiful day, decided he was gonna do it on his own. And as he was filling it up, the inner tube ruptured. And due to the fact that the tires were not that good, when the inner tube ruptured, it blew out the back of the tire and hit him in the face. So my father passed away in front of our garage on the pad. Um, when the police were investigating because they thought maybe he was hurt by someone, um, I had to walk past him and go shut off the air compressor and it's been a struggle that's why going to the garage bugs me that's why trying to get things done is very difficult what I'm hoping for is over the course of this summer and this series uh, we're going to move things around, change things up, throw a bunch of stuff away, clean and organize, and I'm going to try and make the garage my own, and not get rid of the memory of my dad, but I, I can't keep seeing it the way it was. I mean, it's been a year and a half, and I haven't moved pretty much anything except for a workbench. I put a workbench in. So, Max and I are going to work, and we're going to get a lot of things organized. <sighs> Appreciate you guys coming along. Ajax is coming. Come here, Ajax! Come here, butthead. We'll put you in the vlog. Tough oh. uppers. You and your two ears. Yeah. Ajax has two different ears. Long one? Short one. <laughs> That's Kenzie's puppy. How, old's Ken or how old is he now? Like three months? I got yada and said no, he's close to six. Oh, he's close to six months? Yeah. Either way. All right, so we're going to throw this battery in. I just went and, like, refinanced my house to buy a new battery for the car. Because <laughs> that never start is not working no more. So we're going to get that ripped out. We're going to throw this one in so we can fire this baby up and go have some fun.
And so, you know, while I'm doing this, I was asked the other day, why do I waste my money on cars? You know, though we being car people will never say that it's a waste. But to someone who's not into this, they don't understand. They just don't get it. Now, those of you watching understand. But let's think about this for a minute. Everyone has a hobby. That hobby may be guns, which I also have a bad habit of spending money on. Um, it may be Legos, which Cindy spends a lot of money on. <laughs> it could be a whole host of things. But in the end, if it's something that brings you joy, enjoy it. Because life's too damn short. One thing I definitely learned well, I, when I lost my dad is life is just way too short to care what other people think, to care about what you spend your money on. That's a guarantee of life. All right, none of us getting out of here alive. All right. That should make things a little easier. New battery, no more issues, I hope. Put a little silicone on here. Oh, silicone grease. Let's see if this fixed our no start issue. Sure as hell better for $270. Wow, I really need to get that fixed so I can put it back on. Oh, grow my fat ass in here. Ooh, that sounds better. Oh yeah. AGM for the win. And I noticed in my FI, this says 13.5. The engine's 14.5. Because I checked it at the battery, it's 14.5. So I don't know why this one shows up less. I've got a radio delete plate in. That'll be nice. I don't have to see that big hole anymore. Little steps here and there. Um, I do have one more thing that I would like to get in here. Um, so, you guys know when I put this together, I really, really slammed this car down low. Well, here's the problem. These rub, and I don't know where. I haven't found any witness marks, but when you slam low, you feel it. I can't tell which side it is. It might be this side. But what I did is I found out they sell an extended, uh, no, it looks the same on this side. I was looking, maybe it was here, but no, same on this side. So they sell an extended, uh, yeah, words, long shackles. So these are about an inch longer than stock. And it says it should raise the back of the car about a half inch. So, we'll see about throwing those in. That way we can, uh, maybe we can see about lifting the back end of this car just a little bit so that it doesn't rub, hopefully. Uh, let me close the hood. I'll get the car up in the air. We'll take a look at it. Alright, so when you have uh, air shocks, they need air to do their job, and uh, they can't have air 
if your lines pop off. So <laughs> Hence why I'm removing mine. That's actually on my list today. Let me pause that. Give ourselves some real tunnel tolerance. Sorry, Jared, gotta pause you. Um, so another project on my list today is ripping these air shocks out because number one, it looks like they're bent. And I don't like that. This one really looks bent. <laughs> Look at that. I don't like that. So we are going to take the air shocks out. I'll put in the extended shackles, which I can show you now since the car is up in the air. I like chrome plated. Yeah. So these are originals. And that is the extended. So it adds an inch, which is about half inch of ride height overall. Hopefully that's what I need so I can run the regular shocks and not rub. That's the hope. All right, old's out. Obviously the bushings and everything are still good, so I'm gonna hold on to these. Maybe I'll use them on the 65 out back. These are the new ones. That's the difference. Let's hope it helps. Let's get this slapped in. take this beast out and we're gonna go have some fun she's really dusty and you can see I got just a little bit more room on that tire it actually doesn't look butt saggy like it used to it actually looks more level I like that we're gonna go ahead and fire this beast up and go have some fun
seriously looks like. They got it all cleaned up. I noticed is that oil pressure gauge it's like reading super low and it, it's like there's a couple times it dropped to zero but the motor's not rattling it's not making any noises it's full of fluid I think that gauge is wrong um, maybe we'll see about the gauge or maybe a new sending unit I don't know, but figure. The only thing I could think of is I need to run more grounds from the engine to the to the body because I have the ground to the head, and then I have this ground here going to the body. I don't know if I have another one, so we might need to do another ground. But overall, it's been a fun night. We're, uh, uh where are we at? Uh, right around 45. Perfect fuel pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and shut her down for tonight, head home, have some fun. And then tomorrow's another day. This weekend, we hope to get it detailed and cleaned up really good, cause my God, is it dirty. Speaking of dirty, we're riding dirty. <laughs> it's alright. What's that telling what's the saying I always tell you? Cop didn't see it, I didn't do it. Cop didn't see it. I will tell you, even with a full tank of gas, this girl is sitting much nicer. I like that a lot more. So yes, we did lower it, or we did raise it a half inch but it seems to be sitting a lot better. So it's not squished down in the wheel wells like it was. Perfect ride height. All right, I'm gonna shut this beast off because it is a little late. Uh, lights. Ignition. So, summertime's a coming. We're gonna try and have more fun this year. Uh, we are still gonna work on stuff. We're gonna be working on the rat rod among many others but we're also going to try and have a little more fun this year and not not work and work and work and work and forget to enjoy any bit of life which is what my usual motif is i work on them work on them work on them and then i move on to the next project and i never enjoy the fruits of my labor all right tomorrow Fire up the camera the first time today. <laughs> Max is over here kicking ass, and you know, I just keep getting in the way. This is the cleanest this garage has been since we built it. Yeah. Uh, worked over here. I got the air compressor fixed up. So this air compressor works now. The better air compressor. So I got my two-stage back. That's better for painting. And I came over here. I hung up the one extra uh, side scoop I got. 
extra air cleaner just for decoration. Starting to get all the body stuff finished. Really looking like a nice garage now. All thanks to Maxwell. It certainly wasn't me. Well, I did these. <laughs> so I, I did do some. But Max was like cleaning workbenches off and all this other crazy stuff. And I, I just, I'm not used to this. So. Explore. Uh, it's good. I took it out of a uh, truck. All right, so I did that. Starting to get cleaned up back here, too. We're putting some extra tools back here because this is my next major project, getting this all set up. But, you know, a piece of the time. We ran our first load of scrap in. I got another one to go. Ugh. Tripping over old root. But this box here, Max, not so much the license plates, but like that Hearst Schiffer and stuff. That's his Oldsmobile. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's other stuff in here too. Love this car. Uh, so the water is shut off in the basement of the house and I haven't gone down there to turn it on yet. And I don't want to just dry rub it. So yes, it's dusty and dirty. Don't chastise me for it. Once the water's turned on, be good to go. So Max got a butt ton done over here. It's going through drawers. It's looking really good. This is my SVT motor. Once I get this in a place where I can organize it. This cart, gone. I gotta go through that box. But now we got a lot going on. A couple more spots to go through. And then reorganizing the entire toolbox. I uh, got some more signs up on the wall. We got the two plus two flying tools. Uh, I have another one that I ordered off Amazon, but it came in damaged, so I'm waiting for the new one to come in, the replacement. Once that comes in, I'll get it on. Oh, I got my big stop sign up there, too. Um, so once I get that, I'll be putting that sign up, and then we're just going to be cleaning everything up, getting everything organized. I got most of the stuff picked up out there. We're getting the shed organized. It's been a lot of freaking work, but so worth it. So worth it. Um, hopefully, next weekend I have parts coming for the 289. Uh, I got a new intake gasket coming. I ordered an aluminum intake for it and a new oil pressure gauge. Because the one that's in here is dancing too much. I don't like it. I don't trust it. So we're going to be, next week we'll be doing the, those new pieces. Obviously, you guys were here. We put the lifted shackles in the back of this. I have the original shocks for it. So original shocks will be put in this so that we don't have the air ride anymore. Preferred. I'm not a big fan of the air ride. Um, you know what, guys? Pretty soon here we're going to have a pretty nice shop and a pretty nice area to film. No longer tripping over stuff and big messes and all that. And then prep for power tour. And as soon as we come back from power tour, start on that beast. Earl here, the rat rod. It's on the list and it's on the short list. Um, I got a bunch of steel laying around for it. I think I got most everything we need. So I can at least get a frame under it. I have axles out back that I want to try and get under it. Dogs. Um, I got an axle that I can get under it. Got a whole bunch of stuff that I can get started. I dug out my English wheel. So if I want to do some you know, custom metal fab work, I got that. Yeah. We're going to be all right. So one more video. Possibly two on the 66, getting her ready for power tour. We're only doing three days. We're going to drive down Wednesday, meet the group on Thursday, catch up with my friends at QA1. Um, Friday, we'll go to Bristol. And then after that, we're going to go do Tail the Dragon. And we're going to hit Wheelster Time again. 
you know, just try to have a fun evening or a fun weekend. And then when we come back, we're going to be working on Earl here. And uh, I'm pretty excited for that rat truck. It, it's It's been a long time in the making. I think I'm ready. As the garage is clean, I think I'm ready. Until next one, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for being here.